Okay, so hi guys. I am going to show you how I um, tend to prepare my son's medications. Um, I do this either, well, I do this twice a day. I do this in the morning and at night. So I'm not going to show you guys. I mean, I'll show it. The reason why I have them turned around is just because I don't want, you know, his information to be seen. Um, okay, so let's start with his seizure medications. He takes about, I think, Phenobarb, Keppra, Onfi. He takes four seizure medications. We're going to start with Keppra. I tend to just use, oh crap. I use, right now I only have five ml syringes. Can you guys see? Focus. I always wanted to say that, focus. Haha. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure you guys can say it. So he, he uses 10 ml. Um, he takes 10 ml twice a day. Where's the other syringe? Right here. And we're about to fix the second one been on this medication for almost like four years i don't like there to be any bubbles so i always tend to put it back and then take it back out and then again go dodgers old sweater so that's 10 mls and then i'm gonna give um on this is just one ml that he takes so I have to do this day, night, day, night, day, night, every day. This is one ml. There we go. One ml. Okay. That's two seizure medications. And then this is Epidiolex. This is the one that has CBD, CBD oil. We haven't really seen an improvement with it, but hopefully... With the help of his neurologist, we'll be able to find a solution. He gets 1.4. 1 1.4. Crap. Okay, he gets 1.4 mLs. Twice a day. And then he gets... Uh, I also give him methadone for pain. I gave him 2.5 because my son is epileptic. Um, he consistently, he's, well, he's always having seizures. So that's for pain. 2.5. And then he does take tablets. I cannot find my pill crushers. So I'm just going to put them all in the cup and let them dissolve with water. I'm going to give him phenobarbital. He takes three small little tabs. And I do wash my hands with soap before I do this. Um, he takes ropinol because he, he has a lot of secretions, too many secretions. Um, I give him one tablet. I also give him sodium bicarb. I give him one tablet once a week. And then he does get, oh crap, that's not the one. No, no, no. He gets Creon. 6,000 units. You know what, for that one, I'm going to give it to him in a bit. I need to find something to crush it. Well, something that helps me crush it. Uh, because if I dissolve it in the water, it's not going to dissolve right. And then I give him Clondine for agitation. Give him one tablet. There we go. There we go. And then I'm just going to add a little bit of agua for his tablets, water. And then I'm going to let them dissolve for a little bit. And then I'm going to use this 10 ml syringe. And then I'm going to suck it all in there. Oh, and then I am, he does use Reglin too. Um, he uses Reglin. So for Reglin, I'm going to use, I'm going to give him... 3.5. I had a smaller syringe. I could have used a smaller syringe, but oh, this is not gonna work. Mm. Okay, I'll try that in a bit again. And then he also does take <laughs> erythromycin. 
horizon that goes in the fridge. I give them 1.6. 1.6 this man this one gets kind of messy so I'm not gonna show you guys. And I like to kind of have um just spread it out on a napkin. So these are all his medications, um, which are, like I said, seizure medications. He takes four GI because he has um, GI issues. He takes one, two, three, four. Four GI medications. Oh, no, five. Yeah, one, two, three, four, five. And then he takes methadone for pain. Um, and I think we have some intruders coming. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, and I think oh, he also takes nice that in. So you know what? Let me rinse the syringe out. And I'm going to fill nice that in. Because I do give him his medication by his GJ tube. He has a fitting tube. Um... Uh, doctor prescribed nystatin to prevent from, um, to prevent the two from, I think, oh, from growing mold. Yeah, from producing mold because he's always on formula. And then I do need another big syringe. Oh, shit. I do need another big syringe. And then I need a small syringe. And this is where I like to have my medication. Uh, my mom gave me this shout out to my mom this is where i tend to you know have all my medications we have um nurses who come over and come see him and i tend to every time they ask to see his medications i tend to always um have that out well i tend to i mean i tend to always use this basket well i tend to well like i said i always tend to put all his medications there so these are seizure Seizure, seizure, and in there it's the phenobarbital, robinol, clonidine, and sodium bicarbonate. And these are his medications. Oh crap. See how I said that this gets messy? I don't know if you guys can see it. It's messy. Okay, and then I'm gonna show you guys in a bit how I give or how I administer the medication through G2 in a jiffy and then when i come back i'm probably gonna already have this one ready and that one ready in the syringe so i'll be back okay so because i couldn't find a smaller syringe i'm gonna have to order some i am gonna pour some of raglan into a small clean cup just a little bit not a lot he only takes like 3.5 mls and then I'm gonna dum, dum, dum. Okay, this one. This is one. Fuck. I mean it's the same thing. Both of them are the same thing. And then I'm gonna 3.5. I don't like to see bubbles in the air. So 3.5. 3.5, there we go. And then the remaining of the medication, I just pour it back in there. It's nothing bad. And then I am gonna kind of just stir all his medication. And there's nothing there, there's nothing bad with um putting them all together. a little bit and then i'm gonna add just a little bit more medicine just because i mean a little bit more water just because you can see there's a little bit of medication left just go like that okay that's that so these are all his medications and then i'm not gonna throw this away just because like i said there's a little bit of medication in there so i'm gonna put this to the side and then once I'm ready to give him his medication, I am going to show you guys how it is that I give it, how I give him his medication. Um, okay, so I'll be back in a jiffy. So I have my son in his 
stroller stroller slash wheelchair um i like to always um put him in here every time i give him his medication just because he takes so many medications and i don't want him to end up throwing up if i look big i'm not really this big um it's just a shirt and love my watch casio shout out to casio no they do not sponsor me but <laughs> maybe they want the future oh look at my nails nice okay um, so now, like I said, I'm going to administer his medications. Let's find his G2. This is his G2. We do need a new one. Well, we don't need a new one. When was the last time we changed it? What? <laughs> I think it was like six, like six months ago. Why are you so shy? Um, okay, so this is his G2. I'll explain what that is later. What's his feeding tube? Um, he only eats, well, he doesn't even eat anything. He doesn't take anything by mouth. Everything goes through the J. So I have 10 ml of Kepra. And then I tend to just, you know, administer them very slowly. You wouldn't want him to start gagging or anything like that. This is gonna take a while, so. Get comfortable, people. And then five more to go. Okay, so he's done with Capra, done with that medication. And now we're just gonna give him like 10 seconds until we start the new medication, until we administer the other medication. So that was one of his seizure medications. Now I'm gonna give, no shit. Now I'm gonna give Onfi, it's the one ML. Hey buddy. We're done with Omfi. Wait a couple of seconds. So this is our day and night routine. Every day. Every day. Every day. And then what is the next medication? Oh okay, it's um Epidilex. This is Epidilex. This is the medication, like I said, that contains CBD oil. Oh, well, CBD. It's supposed to help with um, epilepsy, but we haven't seen an improvement. Okay, I'm done with that one. I'm just waiting a couple seconds. Now I'm going to give the rest, um, not the rest, but the, the tablets that I dissolved. Since this is a lot of medication, I'm going to go slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. It's a long process, very long process. And if you see me doing this, it's just to mix the medication. I'm not dropping anything for those who are like, oh my God, is she dropping anything? She's dropping medication. I'm not dropping medication. And then I am going to get the remaining medication that was in the little cup. It's 
not a lot. It's more like water. And like I said, I do put hand sanitizer. I mean, I do wash my hands with soap and apply hand sanitizer to my hands before dealing with any type of medication that I do um, administer. So those are his seizure medications. Now we have to switch over to his GI medications and methadone cream. Oh. Sorry, we had a little technical difficulties there. I had to stop recording. Um, okay, now we're gonna continue with Raglan, 3.5 ml. Okay. And then we just need three more medications out of one, two, three, four, five. Wait. Never mind. Yeah, we just need three more medications. Let's give methadone for pain. I'm thinking of the next video that I'm gonna do. I'm probably gonna show you guys, and then I'm gonna give my statin. I'm probably gonna show you guys how um, I do this formula. Um, it's not any formula like Infamil or what's another formula? Boss? Boss. Damn, I swear. I was so bad because the, the fight, do you remember the fight? Oh yeah, he likes to watch fights. He likes to watch, um, excuse my language, putasos on YouTube. So he wasn't ignoring me. He was just on YouTube. You know, you know how that goes. Oh, what's another formula? And this is erythromycin. His oh. last medication of what the mean, day. What do you mean another formula? The milk? Bro? Yeah, what's another formula? Like that there's, there's infamil and there's another one. Yeah, you can Google it. Um, and then I do give him water. I just don't have water right now. Actually, I do. Okay. I'm going to give him some water. 10 ml of water so I can flush all that medication down. Okay. And this is just... What's nighttime? 947 so this is just Similic. oh some like so it's not like infamous or similar it's another special formula it's um you can't buy this formula at the store you can buy it on amazon they're expensive mm -hmm. um so i'll probably show you guys how i do this formula or like a care or like a package you know how we receive like well because he does receive formula i could probably show like on packaging like it's like the formula the feeding bags Pedialyte, um, they deliver masks, gloves, gauze for his G-tube. And I can show you guys that next video. So thank you guys for watching. It was a pleasure showing you guys my son's nighttime routine or daytime. Well, it was nighttime, so nighttime routine. And we will call it a night. Bye, guys. And this is my son. Give you guys a thumbs up. Oh, what is that thing that Yesenia has? Don't hit her thumb. It's a hiker's thumb. Okay. He has a hiker's thumb too, Yesenia. His aunt has a hiker's thumb too. He has one too. It's like when your thumb is like what straight? It's like straight. Mine's is weird. Mine mine's curves. His doesn't. His is straight. Look at that. Whoa. Alright then. Bye guys. Thank you for watching.